In this episode, I'll introduce you to live text templates in Adobe Premiere Pro. Adorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace. Well, live text templates were introduced in late 2014, and I think that they are one of the most exciting new features of Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2014 and After Effects that have come around in a long, long time. And the reason for that is creating uh, lower thirds and animated graphics has always been awesome in Adobe After Effects, but the problem is if you wanted to create templates with editable text, well, that just wasn't possible. You had to go back and forth between Premiere Pro and After Effects, and so creating lower thirds and title graphics and things for uh, interviews or live events, it was just sort of a pain. But now, that has all changed. You can now create these really robust animations in After Effects, and then anything that's a text element can be directly changed in Premiere Pro. And so we're gonna talk about how to create these. It's super easy, and then uh, we're actually gonna do two episodes. So the next episode, we're gonna talk about all the caveats and things you need to know about specifically in editing and setting everything up. And so we're gonna take two episodes to talk about live text templates because I think they are sort of awesome. But before we get into all of that, I wanna remind you that Adorama has some great photography contests. It's totally free to enter and you can win some awesome prizes. So click the link and enter today. Well, without further ado, let's look and see exactly how you can create live text templates and use them. We've always been able to create lower thirds and titles in Premiere Pro by saying new item and saying I want a new title here. The problem with that is there's a very limited ability to animate those lower thirds or titles and so we've always trusted on After Effects to do the job for us. Things like this where we have, I'll make this a little bit bigger here, we've got an Adorama TV logo swooping in from the top left. We've got this bar that's coming in from the left hand side and then we have our text animating in. As we go across the timeline, we see here's another bar coming across. We've got Machu Picchu animating in in the same way. And then again, down here, when we go to the Galapagos, we've got zoop, Anorama TV coming in from the top left, the bar growing across. And again, we've got some text that is animated. Now, the problem with doing this in After Effects has always been if you want three different lower thirds or titles or whatever animations like this. You have to create three separate compositions and either use Adobe Dynamic Link to keep everything updated or render everything out every single time. And that's okay unless you have a problem like this where Pelican is misspelled. You'd have to go all the way back to Adobe After Effects and fix that. Well now with Adobe After Effects CC 2014 and Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2014, the latest version as of now, we have text templates. That means that you can create any kind of animation you want in Premiere, I mean in After Effects. And as long as there's text, you can edit that text in the effects panel of Premiere Pro. And you don't even have to have After Effects open. So you could have a designer creating your animations and an editor using them. So for example here, we have the shy pelican. It's misspelled. I go over here in my project panel, double click on that little animation. And now in the effects control, you can see we have title text here. I can just go around here and instead of having that A, I can delete that, make it an I, hit enter. And now you can see that that is updated instantly in my uh, display. And even if I scrub through here, you'll see that the animation is also updated instantly. And so that is done using Adobe Dynamic Link, but we don't have to have after Effects open for that to all happen. It just sort of happens in the background. It's really, really nice. And so um, what we can do here is we can use the same template over and over again to create something new. For example here, let me get a new clip here. I'm going to grab, oh, let's see. We've got this Cody over here, and this Cody, and I'll throw that on the timeline. And now we've got this little guy right here. Rawr. And the thing that we want to do is we just want to add a really simple title. So I can go over here to my lower thirds and I will grab, let's say this pelican here. I'm going to duplicate that. And I'll just really quickly go in here to the effects control and I will say the Koti. And then what I have to do here is I'll just drag this over, throw it on my timeline and look at that the entire animation comes in and it's ready to go. 
So we can use these templates over and over to create any kind of titling, lower thirds. We can have perhaps if you're editing a sporting event, placement of athletes, you can have winners of contests, you can do all kinds of things. If you're doing interviews, you can have the names of the uh, interviewee, interviewer, you get the idea. Well, how do we create these? Well, it's very, very, very simple. So what I'm gonna do here, let me get rid of this. Uh, we have a very basic uh, demo timeline that I've set up, and it just has footage of Machu Picchu. That's it. So we're gonna use that in Premiere. But first we need to set up our template in After Effects. So I'm gonna open After Effects. Again, After Effects CC 2014, the latest version. This is going to open. It's gonna ask me to create a new composition. And so what I'll do here is I'll say new composition. I need to name this something that is meaningful and you'll see why in a little bit, but I'm gonna say this is big title. And I'll trust that you know how to set up your composition, basic settings, your presets. The advanced tab is the key to all of this. Right down here, there's a new checkbox that says template. If you click that, that's all you have to do. Now you've got a template set up and now you can go to town. So I'll say, okay. And what we'll do here is I'm just going to grab the text tool. I'm going to click on my composition. And I'm going to say uh, big, big title, something like that. And then I will move that over here. Now down here in my layer name, this needs to be a meaningful name. So instead of just saying big title, I'm going to call this title and you'll see why. This is going to show up in Premiere Pro in a second. The other thing I'm going to do here, just to show you how you can lock things down, I'm going to say uh, this can't, can't be edited. I'll do that. And that's so big you can't see it. So I will shrink this a little bit. Something like that. Now all I'm going to do here is I'm going to lock that layer. All right. And we've got big title. The other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over to my uh, effects. I'm just going to add some kind of animation to this just so we know that something is happening. So I'm going to use uh, an animate in and who knows what it is. I'll just do uh, fade up words. Why not? Fade up words on the title. And now as we scrub through this, you can see that that fades up. All right, nothing fancy. We've just got two white uh, texts on a template here. Now I'm gonna save this project as big title. Um, you would save this as something that was meaningful. You can do multiple compositions in your project, but whatever this is, make sure it's meaningful because you're gonna create a lot of different templates and you wanna know how to find those. So I'll save that. Now to get this template over to my project, all I have to do is drag this over. Now there are a lot of other ways to do this. We're gonna get into that next week, but I'm just gonna drag this composition over into my project in Premiere. And now I've got this big title uh, uh, template right here. If I double click on this, you can see in the effects control, I've got title, big title. So what I'll do is I'm just going to drag the video over on top of, this is sort of a long composition, so I'll trim that up, on top of my Machu Picchu footage. And you can see there it is fades right in just like we wanted. And I can change this by going over here to my project, double clicking, and in the effects control, instead of big title, I will say Machu Picchu. Click, and now it says Machu Picchu. And notice it fades in, and so our animation works just great. Now the other thing we can do here is now we can jump back and forth between After Effects and Premiere, and we can tune this in. So let's say we don't like the font, so instead of Myriad Pro, I don't know, we'll, we'll do, um, I don't know, Coconut. Nah, that's not too big. Do something else here. There we go, there's a big difference. Now if I save that and go back to Premiere, you'll see, bam, that's instantly updated. And you go back and forth and tune this in and do all kinds of your, uh, your animations that you want, adding bars and graphics and spins and loops and 3D and anything you can conceive in After Effects. As long as it has text, you can uh, make that into a editable text template that you can use over and over in Premiere. Now there are a bunch of things that you need to be aware of when you throw those into Premiere, specifically on how you use them. We're gonna get into that in next week's episode because we're out of time for this episode. 
But remember, if you want to create a nice text template in Premiere, just make sure that when you're doing your composition settings that you have that one checkbox checked. So in the advanced tab, check template. Anything that's unlocked and a text layer can be edited now in Premiere Pro. Anything that is locked can't be edited, but you can do all kinds of stuff in your animation and you're, I'm sure if you're a graphic designer, you can do some really cool stuff. Anything you can dream of in Premiere, I mean in After Effects, you can make that into a template as long as it has text. All right, next week we're gonna show you some tricks on working with these because there are some gotchas. And so tune in next week and I'll show you all of that stuff. Well, thanks for joining me in this episode. As you can see, live text templates are pretty awesome. Don't forget, we have one more episode specifically talking about how to make sure you set these up correctly for transitions and making sure you understand the difference between master clips and instances and all kinds of things, so don't miss out. Also, don't miss out. Make sure you subscribe to Adorama TV. It's absolutely free, and it makes sure you don't miss a single episode. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you again next time. great looking prints at low cost, be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.